Hey everyone, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. If you're looking forward to Starfield, you've probably seen the Bethesda game showcase footage. After making a video of my general impressions, I wanted to approach it from a modding perspective and talk about potential opportunities to make Starfield as you want it. We'll go through the presentation footage and give all you aspiring modders some ideas as we wait for Bethesda's release of the game and its modding tools. This ended up being a super long topic as there's so much to talk about, so I've broken it down into multiple videos. This one covers the user interface and armor and weapons. Let's start off with user interface or heads up display. Right at the beginning of the footage, we get a look at the circular element in the bottom left. This incorporates quite a bit of information, a planetary clock using a day-night cycle, a compass indicating magnetic north, an oxygen slash CO2 meter that works like a stamina bar, and finally a 360 degree objective indicator that also shows enemy direction. I'll talk more about this later. While the presentation shows it in white, Fallout 4 already had the ability to change your HUD color and opacity, so I don't expect those features to be removed in Starfield. While the circular layout actually looks functional and a little elegant, I expect modders to change things up a bit. First off, the ability to change its size. In the presentation, you can tell this was made larger for Xbox users sitting farther from their screens. For PC players, however, it could be scaled down. Next, the layout. As I mentioned, it's functional, but I can certainly see a desire to get a different look, or even breaking the elements apart to spread them around the screen as desired by the player. Even the ability to have those elements appear and disappear on a key toggle or when a change is registered like with the stamina meter. Your health bar and weapon indicator with ammo and grenade count is in the lower right. As shown, I'm actually okay with the design as it's not too obtrusive. But I can see some room for improvements. First off, it should only appear when you have a weapon in your hand or when in combat, making for a cleaner screen. Secondly, the health meter remains in white even when getting low. Modding this element to appear only if you've taken damage would be nice. I would also enable it to change colors as your health decreases, changing from white to yellow to red. I can see that being super helpful to players. The next shot really bugged me on a couple of levels. Why is the location info right in the middle of the screen? And why doesn't it look like it's part of the HUD? First off, it was obviously designed for players sitting back from their TVs, as it just looks too large and too out of place. Put it towards the top or the bottom and get it out of my line of sight, and make it look like part of the HUD using the same font style. Showing the info research lab as in location discovered is a blatant in your face declaration that this is a video game. The same goes with the experience gained indicator. Why would this person have something like XP as part of their life? Do you get reminders about your life progression after making an omelet or arriving at a restaurant you've never been to before? No, me neither. Get it off my screen. A minimal pop-up off to the side of the screen or in the corner when we've leveled up. Yeah, that's needed for the game, but try to make it as unobtrusive as possible. As you can see here, this XP meter pops up over and over again in the footage. Just make it stop, please. There are also other things we can see here that are unnecessary and designed to accommodate the latest trends in video games. The enemy level indicator and health bar. Bethesda tried to make it look like there are parts of the heads up display. I find them really distracting. And here comes the word, unimmersive. Yep, I said it. I mean, does the little computer sending this info to my HUD have access to this guy's resume? And say, yep, he's a scrub. Level 2. No, just no. The health meter. Is it reading his vital signs? Maybe? It's just too much information. There needs to be a way to turn this off. Listen, I'm going to keep shooting them till they drop, okay? Modders will get rid of this ASAP if it isn't already part of the options for the game. Let's revisit that 360 degree enemy indicator. 
The red pips are showing two enemies ahead of us and three off to the left. Okay, I have questions. How does my little HUD computer know they're enemies? Secondly, why don't these pirates have the same little computers for their helmet displays? Seems super useful. Oi, Bob! Have you noticed there's an enemy approaching from behind us? Maybe we should do something about him. No, it'll be fine. It just buggers belief that the player character would have it, but the NPCs wouldn't. So, let's get rid of that. If they wanted to make it like some kind of motion detector where all the blips are the same color because we don't know if they're an enemy or not, I might be okay with that. But it would have to include all NPCs, animals, robots, etc. And that would get a wee bit confusing. Better to do away with it completely because I like surprises. And that brings me to a couple other short notes. The weapon quick selection is a cross style reminiscent but improved of the one introduced in Fallout 4. I actually like this one as it appears to have a bunch of slots and utilizes a slow time mechanic. My only quibble is that it's right in the middle of the screen. Allow it to be pushed down or preferably out to the side of my main field of vision and I would be happy. That should be easy enough to mod as there are plenty of other examples of this being done in the past for other mods. And finally, just as a note, though we did not see it in the footage provided, there will likely be a Fallout 4 style quick loot system in Starfield. The UI elements shown here are consistent with that. Two of the biggest categories on the Nexus for any Bethesda game is armor and weapons, and that should continue with Starfield. While the game showcase focus was on a variety of spacesuits and armor, it did show some clothing options that would be available in the vanilla game. Mods will allow you to separate your character from the crowd, and the sky is the limit based on the creativity of the modding community. Armor and clothing could be a unique vision of the mod author, giving you something you've never seen before, or can pull from sources outside or inside other Bethesda franchises, both reality and fantasy based. Mandalorian armor or Stormtrooper gear from Star Wars? You got it. Martian Space Marine power suits that featured in the television series The Expanse would be super cool and fitting for Starfield's near future vibe. Want to dress like your favorite fictional sci-fi or fantasy characters? Or comb through mods looking for just the right outfit to fit your character's personality? It's all going to be available for you to install in your game. Let's talk about weapon mods. If history is any indication, there will eventually be thousands of them, mainly due to the fact there is so much out there as source material. Starfield is giving us an interesting mix of both projectile and energy weapons. Projectile weapons shown in the footage feel like evolved versions of guns common today and should provide modders plenty of inspiration. With energy weapons, it's no holds barred. If you can imagine it, you can do it. I can certainly foresee a huge number of options from established franchises being available. Then there are weapon attachments. Mix and match, create your own. We'll see lots of cool options. With a unified modding framework, all these attachments, whether from the vanilla game or from mods, should work together no matter their source. One of the things we didn't see a lot of in the Starfield showcase was melee combat. And I started to wonder if that would be a thing considering Bethesda's questionable melee combat systems. That was until I rewatched the scene where you first encounter pirates in the lab, and I saw this guy charging the player. Why? And then I saw it. A blade of some type in his right hand. Yep, there it is. Melee combat. That opens up a whole new category of weapon mods. Lightsabers? Yeah, lightsaber mods. Guaranteed. Oh yeah, one more thing. Hopefully all these bullet trails can be toned down in the game settings. If not, mods will take care of it. Then there is the topic of retextured weapons and armor. One of the easiest things to mod are textures or simply put, the appearance of an item in the game. Colors, patterns, logos, there will be endless variations. This is because it is so simple to do with even basic image editing software. Thank you for watching. More videos on Starfield modding possibilities are in the works, so stay tuned for those. Leave me a comment with your modding ideas for Starfield. I would enjoy hearing what you would want to see in the game.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with others. Also, please subscribe to us here at Dirty Weasel Media. I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.